All right, this is Val. Welcome to this quick Q&A video here. And I posted a question here a few days ago. Um, what is your biggest issue with 3D right now? And we got some pretty cool answer questions here. One of them is here. It says texturing large props like a forest with a stream without getting a too low texture resolution using a single 4k texture or b getting repetitive patterns using tiling textures at the same size and i'm gonna pick that topic for today just quickly give you the answer to that because i think it's, it's a it's a very common issue and it's a great question now i'm gonna show you the 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 principle behind this and then i'm gonna show you how to do this inside livewave which has multi-layer cap uh, capabilities and also inside DAS studio which doesn't have multi-layer capabilities i'm going to show you a way around that the basic idea is when you have a pattern let's say you have a tiling let's say you have a single plane and you have lots of you know tiles and each of them is a 4k texture right and the issue is that you're gonna you know when you zoom out the camera and you see all of them you're gonna see the pattern is gonna be repeated unless you have a very you know planar looking texture but if you don't if you have lots of details and you zoom out you will notice a pattern the way to hide this is to add an additional layer on top of that that can be multiple things it could be um, the same texture you have in one of these just put here as an additional layer and the same texture up here and then blend those two layers together that will create a distortion or kind of a additional pattern that is not repeated because it's on on this large you know plane that covers everything and this could be everything it could be you know the same texture as i said here it could also be um a special pattern of darker areas kind of like you know darker areas and, and brighter areas so you tone it and you give it a, s a pattern across the entire section so not just you know a repeated pattern but also a pattern across the entire section so I'm going to show you how to do that inside LiveWave and, and that should be next all right, so here I'm inside LiveWave and you can see that I've added a pattern that is tileable, but yet you can see the tiles themselves. So if I get close to this with the camera, really close, it works when I'm really close, right? But if I just get enough distance, I can see the tiles repeat themselves. So if you have in your software a way of, you know, adding layers inside here inside LiveWave, you have layers so you can add Yes, and here on the texturing, um, you can add the main texture here, but you can also add uh, layers, you know, in here. It says add layer. We can also add layers by, you know, tapping into the other options here. For instance, the diffuse channel. You can add something to diffuse channel that will elevate and change the way it's perceived. So, for instance, I could add a texture in here. I just look here. here. Uh, there it is. I just click on that and add it. I can change scale individual on each channel, and Das Studio doesn't have that option. In Das Studio, you have if you change the scale of one, it affects all channels. So here you can scale individually. It changes how this looks like from this distance. So a better way here is to add actually a layer here, and just add layer. And I use image map. You can also use procedural and just you know whatever texture you want and let that texture for instance subtract from that main texture all right so turbulence and just you know give it a go use texture i'm going to preview it using here the vpr and as you can see immediately now this is this is kind of a heavy effect right but you can see we can no longer see the tiling it's, it's gone so when you are for instance, we can just lower that to uh, a different opacity level here uh, and just alter it. If you just completely remove that layer, then you can see the tiling, right? But if you add that layer of dirt or whatever you want to call it, just 10%, 16%, it's not much, 
we can still see the tiling but there is a new pattern emerging right and if you add more of it here you can almost no longer see the tiling so that is a way to quickly remove any you know repetitive pattern if you have and yet maintain the level of detail you have now inside Dash Studio or frankly any software that, modeling software that doesn't have layers on, on the texturing property uh, what you can do here is when you add a single plane I'm just quickly add a texture to it diffuse so I'm just gonna add the same texture here so we can see um, the tiling up here and I'm gonna just stretch a little bit added some tiling so it's really visible let's add 10 and 10 let's just assume we have a model that has a tiling effect it's a larger model it looks good at you know at a close range but if you look at it from this distance it doesn't look good right so here you don't have the layers and if your modeling software doesn't have layers you can still get around by adding another plane same plane you can just copy actually move the other one uh, slightly upwards you can move it slightly upwards by changing its Y position doesn't need to be much just above the other one all right you don't want it to be on the same height it needs to be above just slightly above and what you now do is add a kind of a dirt map to this secondary one so you go in here and you make it really black in color uh, or make it just white for now I'm going to show you how to do this to the opacity channel or alpha channel or transparency channel whatever it's called you browse for a map that looks like a cloud pattern or something that you know would make the the main pattern break off and you can just do anything here maybe uh, let's try this one that would work that adds an overlay you can immediately see changes the way it looks and now you can make this dark of course you can just lower the diffuse channel so it doesn't you know catch any lighting and that immediately breaks away the pattern it's no longer visible and now we can fine-tune this by uh, changing the opacity slider on this secondary layer so layers don't need to be done within the modeling software they can be added afterwards awesome and if you're interested in more about modeling and actually how to model you know create your own models from scratch including texturing and getting paid for them just go ahead and click on the link below this video you will go here to this very page you can just click here and enter your email address and you will be immediately taken to a page that will deliver that report for you all right awesome thanks for watching see you next time